Welcome back to We're Not Really Here. Manchester City 1 0 up against Swansea in the fifth round of the FA Cup. A goal from Kyle Walker in the 30th minute, which means my Twitter mentions will be full of Swansea fans this evening. Thanks for that, Kyle. Anyway, welcome back to the show. We've got Kevin Horlock and Sean Gota joining us here to break that first half down. Sean, I'll come to you. Lively start from the Blues. Yes, it was. It, it's shown a lot of patience, you know, we're looking at uh, because of how Swansea are playing, sort of looking to put a block there and, and, and fill all these spaces. City's having to be patient and maneuver the ball from one side to the other, players interchanging, not with a, a, a great deal of penetration on, on a lot of occasions, but again, the shifting, the shifting the ball, moving it. Um, so, yeah, City's, again, Good, good patience they're showing, um, and City will be pleased, but they'll want to, to work the goalkeeper a few more times. About two or three minutes in, Kevin, you, you said it was going to be a long evening and long 90 minutes for Swansea, uh, and that first half proved it. Yeah, it looked like me giving them one goal in the prediction <laughs> looked a little bit way off it, but yeah, it's, it's hard to, to say what to do against the Manchester City team. Um, do you sit back and, and do a block or do you go for it either way you can get hurt if you come out and, and go one two three goals behind this way they're only one but I imagine they will have to come out at some point and try and get back in the game because like I said sitting in a low block is tiring midfielders have to shuffle left and right your centre forward is dropping in it becomes more and more difficult to get out and create chances the last team in the world you want to be one nil down yeah. against when you're not creating many opportunities it's probably Manchester City yeah it was a little bit of a fortunate goal but on the back of that they have had a couple of half chances straight after um, Carl Walker scored they had a, a little half chance and then the lad low that wasn't offside by the way was onside was, was a half decent chance as well so they will have a little bit of encouragement from that but um, it looks like a matter of time before City get a second then probably run away with it and the tie be over Sean would you say Manchester City have even got out of second gear yet? No, I don't think so. I think City's got a few more gears. I think, again, they're just looking for these little gaps and spaces to appear, uh, to be able to exploit. And because there's so many players and bodies, sometimes they've got five at the back and, you know, uh, with, with, a, with a three or four in front, and they're just really filling up a lot of gaps. And I think City's certainly got a, a few gears. I think they can move the ball quicker. Uh, but it's difficult because, again, we're talking about a whole back four and a goalkeeper that's coming in. So them shifting that ball left to right uh, has to be done a, a little sharp. And I think that's what we'll see uh, more than anything in, in the second half. When we are talking about the next 45 minutes, City have, have created plenty of opportunities. They've only got that one goal. So do you think that they need to get another one and cement it? Yeah, uh, again, City will want to up the tempo. They'll look for a second goal. But again, I think the ball will move sharper. And with the ball moving sharper... The, the, the confidence and the dominance of, of creating those opportunities will come, uh, as opposed to just, just shifting the ball left to right at a medium pace. It'll make them work harder. Those gaps will get bigger and larger because somebody will, 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 will forget the, the jobs and responsibility and all of a sudden someone's in the right pocket to slide somebody in and, and then we create those chances. We talked so much about the fullbacks and we talked about Kyle Walker coming back into the fold this evening. State to claim for uh, to claim his, his place back in the squad. 30th minute, he puts a low-driven cross in and it somehow ends in the back of the net. Yeah, he'll take that. I think as a fullback, you take anything, um, <laughs> any goal. I, I'm telling you now, though, Sean Go oh, would have claimed it. He would have pretended he got a touch on it without a shadow of doubt. And they didn't. They run straight to Carl Walker and congratulated him. But, um, yeah, it was it was a bizarre goal, really. I, probably the goalkeeper should have done better, but he's anticipating one of the forwards to get a touch. So you can sort of understand it as well. Well, he drives the cross in. Yeah. The ball goes past Gabriel Jesus, past the defender as well. And the keeper, I mean, Woodman, he, he doesn't have much opportunity to see the ball possibly you could say Sean well I think Kevin's explained it exactly right the goalkeeper sort of he's planted there and he's anticipating I think it's Torres that has a swing at it that Torres is going to redirect it a, a little bit faster and with that Torres doesn't really touch it um, and in, with that what time he reacts it's, it's crossed him so Walker be pleased because we talked about Walker in terms of up in his game because Cancelo's just played so well well Walker's gone in and produced a goal and said, well, you know, defensively, he isn't really going to have much to do until they sort of come out and, and start trying to push forward. A little fact for you. Kyle Walker has scored his first FA Cup goal in 3,686 days, last netting in the competition for Aston Villa against his beloved Sheffield United in January 2011. So, you know, two goals in, in what, 10 years? It's all good. 
might be like a London bus, though. Another one might come along straight away. You know, I'll take keep, it. Keep, keep, <laughs> keep your eyes peeled, second half. That second half, then, big 45 minutes coming up, Sean. What have Manchester City got to do to ensure they go through to the next round? Well, I think City will definitely want to score another goal because then that will really settle. They'll manage the game. I think the tempo of the pass will be quicker. Uh, and again, I think we'll look to thread more, more, more passes in behind the defence. So, you know, when we get those players in those pockets, Gundogan, uh, Bernardo Silva, to be able to then slide those loose through passes and, and, and then create a few shots at the goalkeeper. Knowing how busy this season is, it looks like, as we said, that Manchester City haven't got out of second gear. Do you think that's intentional? They just want to control the game throughout, get I a goal? I think, I think Sean touched on it. I think it's the way Swansea have set up. They, they've given the space for them to have a be able to have the ball in front of them so they're, they're being patient it is a little bit slow at times no one's really stood out and, and been the star man and, and looking right up for it in, in all honesty but um, they'll just be looking to stay concentrated now at the back and, and the next goal will come I think the second goal will come eventually but it's just about being concentrated and not letting Swansea get the next goal because it does change the game completely when I, when I look at their first half and I you know in terms of the tempo because of all the, the energy uh, that's gone into the previous game with Liverpool, sometimes, you know, when I think to myself, when you expend a lot of energy mentally for a big game, sometimes you still want to come out and play at that same level, but, but you just don't. And I think Pep will recognise that the players are not, you know, they're going to want to perform well uh, and, and, and that they must sort of just, just up their tempo a little bit and they'll get back to those levels to be able to create several opportunities. Right, we've been asking you guys to get involved and get in touch with us at home using the hashtag WNRH, all right? And we've got some guesses for Mystery Blue, all right? So we, we can see these right now, okay? Uh, some of them that, that have been getting in touch with us using the hashtag, someone said uh, Paul Bosvelt. It could be, possibly, possibly. Mm. We're going to see it in a minute, so we, we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, someone's uh, said Richard Dunn as well. They're joining you, Sean, there on you that go. one. There that, you that, go, no, Richard that, Dunn. That might have been Richard Dunn saying that. Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, no, oh, no, it's not him. It's not, it's not. And then another one, someone's saying Mystery Blue, Trevor Morley. Use that hashtag WNRH to let us know who you think that one is. I mean, a, a range of guesses right there from everyone. Do you think we should maybe have a look at it again and maybe yeah, see if, yeah, if we... let's have a look. No one's saying Michael Tarnat, so uh, no one's with you on that one, Kevin. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's have a look at it. I don't know. I just think the boss felt shout. I'm, I, I just think, I'm, I'm going with I that. I think boss felt's got longer that, hair Kev. than that. He had long, unless he's got it in a ponytail, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe. Forget my Danny one. I'm going with Tarnet. Definitely. Right, yeah. so you can get in touch, you can let us know your thoughts using that hashtag WNRH. I mean, there's some great shouts in there. I I'm still going with Richard Dunn. I I'm still going with Richard Dunn. You're jumping Dunn. on that? No, I'm not, I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let us know your thoughts on it, all right? Hashtag WNRH, Tana. I've still got that in my head right there. Right. Big 45 minutes to come. Kevin, what, what do you expect from this next 45? Well, I expect Swansea to come out a little bit more and be a little bit more aggressive going forward. Um, the only downside to that for them is if they do that, then they're going to be susceptible to, to another goal for Manchester City. Do you think the same, Sean? Yes, I do. Um, but at the same time, I think City will dominate uh, and they'll try to leave it to later before they start to really... Uh, try to engage City a bit more. But from City's point of view, I think we know they're going to have possession, dictate the game, dictate possession, and, and, and really just be on the front foot. We've seen how strong the bench is. Edison Stones, Inchenko, Mares, Cancelo, Foden, Doyle, Gomez, Bernabe as well. Do you expect to see some changes, some, some fresh energy at some I, point? I, I think it just depends on, on how the second half goes. If, if Swansea get a goal, you might see some of the big big names coming on. If Manchester City get the, the next goal, then you could maybe see Doyle coming on and getting minutes. So it's, it all depends on, on how the second half plays out. Well, let's see what happens with that one. Quickly, before we go, predictions. Are you still happy with yours? I mean, I said 2-0, so Manchester City only need one more. You you went 4-1, you went 3-1. Are, are we amending them? Are we, are we allowed mm. to do that? Or? Nah, I'm staying. I'm staying. I, I, I think your favourite. Okay. But, but in saying that, Swansea have had a couple of half chances, so the one is still possibility yeah. still a it, slight possibility we'll see we'll see what happens anyway that second half is coming up very very shortly manchester city currently one nil up against swansea in the fifth round of the fa cup a place in the quarterfinals is up for grabs make sure you join us after the game we'll be breaking it all down here and we're not really here we'll see you then